Howdy, lovely humans. Resident Evil games aren't known as a walk in the park. Ammo's in short supply, danger lurks around every corner, and the horror of what humanity does to each other is a through line in the franchise. Even with all of that, we could certainly do without items disappearing the moment we use them. Here are four items we only got to use one time in Resident Evil games. Thanks a lot. First up, in the Resident Evil 4 remake, small keys can be found throughout, and they unlock locked drawers. Surprise! These keys can even be purchased from the merchant with Spinnel in the DLC separate ways. They're seemingly interchangeable, meaning you can use any key in any lock, but somehow, the minute you use one, they poof! Out of existence. Speaking of the Resident Evil 4 remake, the merchant will sell you a rocket launcher for a not inconsequential number of pesetas that scales based on your difficulty setting. The merchant will charge you between 50,000 to 160,000 pesetas. Not enough cash, stranger. But there's a catch. Regardless of your purchase price, it only works once. You heard me. Not, you only get one rocket and you can find more ammo later. You know, like how weapons work. It's simply completely disposable. Time to huck it in the garbage. There's, you know, simply nothing that could be done with an empty rocket launcher. Simply no fix, no solution. Where would one even find ammunition? I don't know, maybe a merchant? Meanwhile, enemies with rocket launchers have plenty of ammo, and I mean plenty. We all know Jill Valentine is the master of unlocking, according to Barry, but is it because she's the only one capable of using a lockpick more than once? In Resident Evil 7 and Village, you find lockpicks in random places, and much like the small keys in Resident Evil 4, they're used to unlock locked drawers for loot and helpful items. But unlike the Resident Evil 3 remake, in which Jill is using the same lockpick over and over and over, they once again either break instantly or just disappear the minute you've used them. Seriously, folks, are you just dropping them? Do you have no object permanence? Bolt cutters, I think we can all agree, are pretty durable. And yet, in Resident Evil Village, when you find a set of bolt cutters near the beginning of the game to cut your way through a chained gate, there's just one problem. You guessed it. They can only be used once. Patterns are fun, aren't they? This one's a bit different. You know how at the beginning of the Resident Evil 3 remake, Keanu Reeves, I mean, Carlos Oliveira, saves Jill's life by shooting rockets at Nemesis, then just drops the launcher on the ground like it's an empty chip bag. Never mind, Nemesis has seemingly infinite ammo for his RPG later in the game. To add insult to injury, by the time we get to play as Carlos, no sign of the rocket launcher is even left. You couldn't have saved it, Carlos? You know, to ensure we don't have to live in a Carlosless world? Can you think of any one-time use items from Resident Evil games that I left out? Let me know in the comments. Help me defeat the algorithm by liking and subscribing if you think I've earned it. And if you would like a rocket launcher, that you could use more than once, in fact infinitely, check out this recommended video and I'll holler at y'all later.